Good night, teacher. We can hear you. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I was, I was, I think, talking to myself. Hello. Can you hear me now? Yes, teacher. Yes. Good night. Awesome. Awesome. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hi, Sam. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, everybody? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Is everything good? Very yes. Good. Very good. Yes. How's your Friday going? ¿Cómo les está yendo con su Friday? Good, good. Do you have plans for today? Hi, give me one second. Okay, there we go. So, uh, good evening, and I'm sorry, I was having some issues with my audio there. So, I'm glad to see you today, guys. I'm super happy to see you. Welcome, everybody. Today is Friday. Nos falta solamente four days eh, to finish the program. So, I'm glad to see you there. Espero que hayan tenido un buen Friday. Y las disculpas por el sonido y la fiesta que está atrás. No sé si la logran escuchar, you know, because... I think that there is a party going on, eh, or a celebration of algo. I think I'm not quite sure, but lo bueno es que van a estar animados, you know. Eh, el el pues el, I mean, el how do you call it? El el I was gonna say el show, but no. <laughs> el concierto, el concierto es gratis, right? So um, in the meantime, les voy a pedir que me ayuden con sus cámaras, please. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. So let me go ahead and take control of your, of your attendance. Uh, so help me please with a uh, present when I read out your name. Mm -hmm. So, um, so, 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 give me one second. So my first person is Bismarck. Okay, what's going on with this, Mark? Claudia Patricia? Edgardo? Present, Chair. Edwin Ernesto? Present. Thank you. Um, Evelyn Carolina? Present, Chair. Thank you. Evelyn Mariela? Present. Thank you. Uh, Fatima Elizabeth. Arbolitos, Acura. Francisco Alexander. Okay. Eh, Gerardo Alexis. Germán Mejía. Gerson Rubén. Here, teacher. Thank you, Gerson. Uh, Glenda Beatriz. Present. Awesome. Thank you, Glenda. Gloria. Jorge Alberto. 
José Naum. Carla Marcela. Carla Stephanie. Present. Thank you, Carla. Kelvin. Luis Mario. Maria Rene. Present. Thank you. Uh, Mirma Ismari. Present. Thank you. Excelente, Miss. Le tenido estos tres días. Nice. No, cuatro días. Super happy yes. to see you here. Nancy Thank Carolina. You. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson. Present. Thank you. Roberto Antonio. Present. Thank you. Roberto Betancur. Present teacher. Thank you. Sara Elisa. Present. Thank you. Silvia Yvonne. Jessica. And Maria Angelica. Alright, thank you. Okay, guys, uh, thank you so much for uh, you know being here, getting like super ready for classes, y gracias por seguir siempre, you know, eh, trabajando por ese objetivo del 2020, que es aprender inglés. So we are definitely on the way. So, <laughs> creo que es la celebración de la Virgen Rey. I think it's uh, the I, I don't know. Well, for Catholic, creo que es celebración de Virgen. Well, I'm not quite sure. So, um, that's why, you know. So, everybody, today we are going to continue working a little bit, describing some activities that are going on. So, we are going to continue working with present continuous. Yesterday, trabajábamos describiendo, like, qué es lo que estamos haciendo. So, we were working in the things like, qué es lo que está pasando ahorita. What is going on, right? Um, I am cooking, I am thinking, I'm watching, I'm reading. So today, vamos a practicar preguntas. We are going to practice questions. So vamos a preguntarles, like, ¿qué están haciendo, right? Eh, María, María Salazar, mil gracias por estar ahí. Yo sé que va en, en, para su casa, me imagino. But thank you, thank you so much. Entiendo, no se preocupe. Si necesita apagar en algún momento su cámara, you're totally fine. Y gracias, Miss. Gracias por hacer el esfuerzo de, de estar ahí. I truly appreciate it. Gracias a usted por recibirme así. No, para nada. You are more than welcome. So thank you. Porque, you know, eso me, me motiva. And I'm like, wow, ella se está esforzando. So I'm like, that's an extra motivation for me, you know. So thank, thank you. Thank you. Um, all right, guys. So we were working and we were describing a couple of things that are going on. Entonces, uh, let me share my screen with you guys so we can take a look at some questions, okay, and how to make questions. Give me one second. Mm. Hold on, give me one second here. Because I want to play the whole thingy. Let me try one more time. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes or no questions. Uh, guys, escuchen el video? Can you listen to the video? Yes. Yeah, sure. yes. yes, yes, teacher. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Let me mute. In use tense. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing, plus some kind of complement. 
So let's try to make sense of this. Are you the verb is wear and we add ing to that that will be wearing a suit and of course we put a question mark there let's give another example the verb to be is 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 she wearing boots and of course question mark at the end so let's try to make questions now. I will give you the subject, the verb, plus some kind of complement. And you need to write the questions. For example, I'm going to give you, mention the subject will be you, uh, the verb eat. And in this case, I'm going to say dinner is the complement. So what I want you to do with that is to form a question. So let's take the the, the the verb to be is the one that we need to use. So for the pronoun you, I'm going to say are. The pronoun is you or the subject. The verb is eat. We need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form. Are you eating dinner? It's the complement. And of course, add the question mark there. So I'm going to give you more, and you should um, make these questions as I explain. After you have finished, go ahead and share your work in our discussion forums. Is she wearing Okay, guys. So questions with present continuous are really easy. And of course, they are very useful. So again, lo podemos utilizar como para preguntar de qué es lo que están haciendo ahorita. What are they doing right now? Okay. Uh, so for example, my sisters, they are talking on the phone. Pero si yo quiero preguntarle si qué están haciendo, like your family members, what are people they're doing, esa es la forma como lo hacemos, right? Are you, Where? are you wearing a suit? So, are you wearing a suit right now? I don't think so, right? Uh, is she wearing boots? Are you wearing boots? Are they wearing glasses? Are you wearing glasses? Y la respuesta puede ser corta o larga. La respuesta solo es, yes, I am, I am not, okay? Uh, for example, I can ask you, hey guys, are you eating dinner? Right now, are you eating dinner? Están comiendo. Are you no, eating I'm not. dinner? No I'm, not. no, I'm not. Exactly. So, no, I am yes. not. Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Francisco <laughs> is eating dinner. Okay. Okay. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, Francisco. In English, no tenemos forma de decir Thank you. como provecho, right? Entonces, we use enjoy. Enjoy your meal. All right. Uh, imagine, for example, normally I know that esa es la hora de la novela, right? So I can tell you something like, are you watching the soap opera? Are you watching a movie? Are you watching the news? Or your family? Is your family watching the news? You know, uh, for example, here in my town, están celebrando. So you can come and you can ask me, hey, teacher, are you celebrating something? Are you having a party? Okay. So, we use present continuous for that, para preguntar qué es lo que está pasando, right? Por ejemplo, yo veo que, you know, alguien se mueve, eh, alguien está haciendo algo, and it's like, ¿qué estás haciendo? What are you doing? Okay. So, ¿qué estás diciendo? What are you saying? ¿Con quién estás hablando? Who are you talking to? Entonces, también, everything is like, ahorita, right? What's going on? So, vamos a practicar preguntas. We are going to ask uh, five questions. Primero, vamos a hacerlo like, Step by step, okay. So we are going to get started with, okay, we are going to get started with the most common, que son preguntas directas. Entonces vamos a escribir five questions about activities, all right? Esas actividades no requieren solamente que sean ahorita a las 8 con 18. 
sino pueden ser actividades temporales que estén haciendo, por ejemplo, este mes, esta semana, este año. Todavía es algo temporal. All right? So, eh, recordemos que siempre vamos a usar ING. ¿Ya? Yeah? So, are you? Are you eating? Are you reading? Are you drinking? Por ejemplo, este año o este mes, ¿están leyendo algún libro? Are you reading a book? Y acá le puedo agregar en qué tiempo. Y this, uh, in this month, all right, or in this year. So, are you reading a book? Are you reading a book in December? ¿Alguien está leyendo algún libro? Are you reading a book? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Roberto is very good. Yes, I am. Mirma, I saw Mirma's hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Francisco okay. also. Anybody else? ¿Alguien más está leyendo un libro? Are you reading a book? Not really. No, I don't see like. Okay. Okay, probably not. I can ask you, like, for example, are you still taking. Um, taken. I know that when the coronavirus started, todos empezamos a tomar como vitamins, right? Empezamos a tomar, I don't know, tomaron algo. Did you take anything when the, the virus started? Y que todo el mundo se, se automedicaba, you know? <laughs> or tomaba té, o tomaba algo así. Did you take anything? Tomaron algo? Not really. You didn't take anything. Yes, teacher. Okay, so, ¿tomó algo natural? Did you take any natural thing? Yes, for example, I don't know how, how to say manzanilla. Uh, chamomile. Mm -hmm. ah, chamomile, lemon tea. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, mm -hmm. exactly, exactly. So, everybody did it in my family. La mayoría creo que lo hacíamos, you know. So, are you still taking chamomile tea? Como todavía, right? Are you still, are you still taking? So, no es como necesariamente ahorita, las, en este segundo, but algo como temporal. We don't normally do it, pero we know that everything changed with coronavirus, right? Este año ha sido un año de cambios, I think, for everybody. So, let's think a little bit about that. So, que ha cambiado, what has changed? So, I will give you five minutes. Tomemos nota, please. Escribamos cinco preguntas usando are you. Vamos a comenzar con preguntas directas right now. So, like, are you, ok? Teacher, Five minutes. Dígame. Tell teacher, me, tell y, me. Y, y en la segunda, ¿qué, ¿qué escribió? Porque le puso primero el estilo y después el verbo. Sí, porque según veo la estructura y cambia. O, o en qué mm. caso se hace. Yeah, well, not really. Lo que sucede es que la palabra still... Es como si usted lo empezó a hacer hace un tiempo y todavía lo hace. Pero no hay problema, la puedo quitar. Y es como solo para algo transitorio. Are you taking chamomile tea? Ya como lo está haciendo. La palabra still le da un significado de como continuidad. Are you still? Todavía. Mm -hmm. right? Por ejemplo, si yo sé que... Eh, what? My friend... ¿Qué pueden hacer mis amigos? Let me think. Ok, por ejemplo, let's say that mi amigo trabaja en el hospital, right? Y yo le quiero preguntar, ¿todavía estás trabajando en el hospital? Porque ya no sé si cambió de empleo, right? Entonces utilizamos el still para indicar eso, si todavía hay como una continuidad, right? Are you still working at the hospital? So, eh, díganme dónde han trabajado, díganme un nombre de empresa donde han trabajado, guys. Azor. ¿A dónde, perdón? Fasor, hermano, estudio. Fastor. Fasor, ajá. Fasor. Ok. ¿Cómo se escribe? How do you spell that? Like this? Fasor. F A. Yeah. Ah. Fasor. Fasor estudio, you said. Ok. So, imagine, for example, eh, yo sé que trabajaron en Fasor estudio, pero quiero saber si todavía están trabajando ahí, right? Because we know that with coronavirus, algunos tuvieron que cambiar de empleo. We changed everything. So, are you still working at? Are you still working at Pastor Studio? Todavía está ahí? No, I'm not. No, okay, not anymore. So, exactly. Esa es la idea de still, como todavía. Y si le quito, solo es como, are you working at Pastor Studio? Trabajas ahí? 
ya estás trabajando ahí. So, es como un poquito diferente. But, uh, I mean, it's not necessary to add steel, porque no tenemos como conocimiento previo de lo que ha pasado with everybody here. Entonces podemos dejarlo así. We can definitely just say like this. So, cinco preguntas, you guys. Let's go with five questions. Teacher, eh, no es que yo me quiera salir de la clase, sino que me saca, porque como estoy en mi teléfono y mi teléfono no tiene mucha potencia, este, ahí lo voy a sentir mucho si, si no puedo estar completo en su clase. No se preocupe, Miss. Sí, yo creo que de hecho ella me escribió, right? Pero, pero no hay ningún sí. problema. I mean, you're fine. Si, de hecho, si le sale mejor apagar la cámara un par de minutitos, porque la cámara le consume mucho más internet. So, ok, gracias. Para, para, lo voy a notificar con soporte. Que, que usted está teniendo Excelente, gracias. Que... Sí, por, por la asistencia y todo. Yo ayer no pude estar porque trabajé, pero igual. Pero gracias, Miss. Gracias por unirse y por notificarnos. Ahorita les escribo a los compañeros eh, para que ellos estén como sabedores, ¿verdad? Que okay. okay. sí, uh -huh. No worries. No, thank you. Okay. Okay, guys. So, si tienen dudas, if you are not quite sure, let me know. Me las escriben en el chat y con gusto se las reviso. Is everybody ready? Do you need more time? It's ready. I'm, I'm ready, teacher. I'm ready too. Uh, in our questions, podría funcionar también que seamos bien específicos en qué tiempo, right? So we can say, are you wearing shorts? Y podemos agregar las palabras como ahorita, right now, pero especificar 
como si ahorita, right? Right now. Are you eating right now? O si sea, hacemos como la pregunta, este, estás aprendiendo eh, este año, right? Are you learning? Are you studying? Are you studying at the university, por ejemplo? At the university this year, como para indicar en qué tiempo estamos hablando, si es este año, si hablamos de este mes, right? Eh, in December, so eh, ayudaría bastante que le agreguemos también como algunas expresiones de tiempo. Okay, guys, so we are going to practice these questions, okay? I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Eh, vamos a crear grupitos. Eh, guys, la idea de los grupos es que practiquen, you know, enjoy, hablen con los compañeros, talk to everybody. Eh, si no tienen como, si ya terminaron con las preguntas, hablen de otra cosa, right? Háganle más preguntas, ask more questions. Yeah, so that is totally fine. Uh, y no se nos olvide agregarle el ING, right? So, are you eating? Are you having? Are you reading? Are you getting? So, siempre le agregamos ING. So, give me one second. Les voy a compartir los grupos. So, you can, jo you can go there and you can practice. So, you can share your ideas. Podemos agregar a lot more. So, let's go, everybody. Let's go. Hi guys, eh, hi Kelvin, me confirma si reciben la invitación a unirse a los grupos, porfa, Nelson, y de igual forma, me confirma hoy si también reciben. Te, hoy también te al grupo. Gracias, thank you so much.
Teacher. Eh, aún puede agregarme a la reunión. Es que me secó mi internet y no pude ingresar a, a los grupos. Sí, por supuesto, no se preocupe. Ah. Ahorita le envío la invitación. Solo me confirma si la ve. Okay, everybody, thank you for coming back. I heard your questions and I think solo hay como un par de duditas, right? Sobre si podemos mezclar el do y el verbo to be. So as of today, no lo vamos a mezclar. We are not going to put them together. Now, eh, los traje de regreso. I brought you back because I want you to continue practicing this part. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? We are going to try to create a little conversation y la vamos a presentar. So, ¿qué vamos a hacer right now? In groups, vamos a crear una, una conversación. We are going to create a little conversation, okay? So, vamos a tener like person A, person B, person C. Y si hay más miembros, agregamos like a little participation, right? Eh, no sé si han probado alguna vez las llamadas en grupo, right? Eh, que se hacen gru llamadas grupales y... The, One of the most difficult things es poder ponerse de acuerdo en hacer una actividad, right? Porque uno está haciendo esto, el otro, this other thing. So, nunca nos podemos tener, tener, uh, poner de acuerdo. So, this is exactly what we are going to do. Vamos a practicarlo de tal manera que sea súper natural, all right? Um, so, imagínense que hacemos una llamada grupal. Uh, and it's like, hey, friends. Uh, hey, guys. How are you? Okay. And then you are like... Uh, Ok, um, for example, de, ¿cómo se llama el cine, guys? Multicinema, no. Multicinema, Multicinema. Cinépolis. Cinemark. Cinemark. My goodness, my goodness, so no voy, I don't know. <laughs> ok, I can say, for example, eh, the cinema is open, ok? Let's go today, let's, or let's go right now, ok? And, uh, and then... Una persona dice, oh, I'm sorry, no puedo. I cannot go because I'm washing my clothes, all right? And then let's go tomorrow. And then, for example, Claudia says, oh, no, I cannot go today because, so I cannot go. Es como yo no puedo ir, all right? So I cannot go because I am taking care. So vamos como a inventarse o vamos a decir un par de actividades que están haciendo por, la cuales, por las cuales no pueden ir. All right. The reason uh, why you cannot go. Be creative. Agregamos un par de detallitos. Tenemos un tiempo bastante limitado para hacerlo. Así que podemos hacerlo bien oral. No es necesario que tomen nota de esto. Si lo consideran adecuado, it's fine. You know, pueden tomarlas. But it is not super necessary. Okay. So les voy a dar un par de minutitos. Give me one second. Y vamos a hacer grupos diferentes. We are going to make different groups. So, 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 give me one second, one second. 
second. And uh, ahí estamos. There we go. So. Solo tenemos un par de minutitos, guys. Let's go. Let's join it. And let's make a conversation.
Hi everybody, welcome back and thank you so much for coming. Uh, so let's go over here. Uh, in the groups, estuvimos practicando como un poquito de qué es lo que están haciendo. What are you doing that you cannot go to a cinema, all right, together? Que es lo más, lo más común, right? No sé si les pasa, but this is very common. That nunca nos podemos poner de acuerdo. So uh, I would like to have like a group, volunteering group. Any volunteers? With like anybody? Give it a try, give it a shot. No? Yes. yes, teacher, we have a conversation with awesome. Roberto, Mirma, and I don't remember the other partner. Nelson. No problem. Nelson, okay. Nelson, right. Oh, okay, very good. So yeah, let's, let, let us listen to you. Go ahead, guys. Mm. Okay. Uh, hello, Jorge. How are you today? Uh, the mall <laughs> is open. Let's go right now. I'm sorry, Roberto, but I can't because I am studying from my, my English exam. So, Nelson, can you go? No, because I am studying from my final asthma. Oh, wow. What do you study? Me, I am studying marketing right now. Okay, it's all, teacher. It's all, teacher. <laughs> But that's all right. Thank you, guys. Very good job. Let me give you an emoji. Okay. <laughs> that was actually very nice. That was good. Uh, and uh, we are using the vocabulary and grammar correctly. All right. Let me uh, select one victim group then. I see Edwin, Carla, Mario, and Roberto. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for being my victims today. So <laughs> let's listen to you. Okay, eh. Roberto, te lo cedo, no sé. <laughs> no, no worries. Um, eh, so, es creo que no, que, yeah, no escribimos con... nada, lo hicimos así como que a los que salía en el momento. Pero no, le escribimos. Pero no hay problema, we can, we can definitely eh, go for it. De hecho, muchísimo mejor porque es improvisado, más natural. So, let's give it a try, guys. So, ¿quién comenzaba? Who started? Porque estamos intentando no sé dónde eran. Voy a empezar yo. Hello. Perfect. From Apple Pacific. Okay, and Mario, I think you're next, right? Hi. Hi. So we were Stay. listening to Carla. Yeah, and I don't know if you are next. Okay, and you're the next, guys. Yo les preguntaba que este, donde trabajaba. Okay. So, let's do. Uh -huh, let's do it in English. Mm -hmm. Where are you working? You working in the? No, yo les contestaba donde trabajaba. O sea, que el primero. Mm, nos, Go ahead. Nos so, Carla nos dijo. Okay, so Carla nos dijo like I live in a popa. So le puedo preguntar. Mm -hmm. You can ask her where do do you work or where are you working? You work in the working. Where? Donde? Where? 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 Mm -hmm. Where do you in work? The work? In the working, uh, in the associative. No, ya me chivole todo. No, no se preocupe. Esperemos que Carla nos conteste. So, Carla, where are you working? Va. I do no work. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> okay. So you can tell them like, oh, estoy estudiando. I am studying. I am studying. Mm -hmm. And and that sounds quite fine. Okay, okay, guys. No okay. worries. You're totally good. Um, so, creo que había alguien más en el grupo, but we are going to leave it in standby. Guys, tenemos una algo pendiente. We have something pending. 
cumplía con los pronombres posesivos, you know, adjetivos posesivos. No crean que se me ha olvidado. <ríe> I remember them nicely. Ok, pero lo estoy dejando para el último día. So, para que hagamos una combinación of everything. So, um, para este fin de semana eh, les voy a pedir que me ayuden finalizando con eh, la sesión número 4. Nuestras clases terminan el próximo jueves, así que solo cuatro clases más, guys. Please don't miss it. Eh, su asistencia es así como que top important, ¿ok? So, eh, realmente los necesitamos los últimos cuatro días, please. Por las supervisiones de Instafor también. So, eh, les agradezco enormemente por estar acá y compartir unos minutitos de su tiempo. Nos vemos el día lunes. en please, eh, ayúdenme a, terminando la sesión número cuatro porque esta semana eh, sí les voy a estar ahí molestando si no la veo, ¿ok? Como, mire, por favor, tenemos una hora para completarlo. <ríe> Así que, please, ayúdenme con eso. Help me with that. Dígame. Que no sé si a mí me habrá puesto uh, asistencia. Uh, I was going on, pero siempre reviso eh, nuestro, nuestro control de Zoom. Dime un segundito, solo para que nos quede también como evidencia dentro del video. Eh, ¿Me ayuda con la cámara si la tiene por ahí, por favor? Sí. sí. A veces en Ford nos pide como que quede grabado su rostro en caso que, you know, y para saber qué son ustedes. So. Uh, ah, yeah, ya. So, eh, and, and thank you. Gracias por recordarme, Cos. Bueno. Sometimes I forget it. So, solamente déjenme ir una vez más por los eh, attendants. Claudio si estaba. Eh, Francisco Alexander. Yes, right? Jorge, too. Awesome. Got uh, Jorge Alberto. And uh, Gloria is not here. Jose Naum. Carla Montalvo. Kelvin Miguel. Creo que vía Kelvin. Present. Thank you. Luis Mario. Present. I saw you as well. Awesome. Silvia Ivonne. I didn't see Silvia. So I think we're good. Ok, guys, so, gracias a todos por su asistencia. Nos vemos el día lunes. Que disfruten, que disfruten su fin de semana. Enjoy, you. guys. Bye, bye. Thank you so much, teacher. Bye, bye. Enjoy your bye. Okay, bye, partners bye. and teacher.